Hi everyone and welcome back to Drew's Explains. I'm Marissa. And I'm Jamie. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we got coffee and trivia for you. Today we're going to be doing Christmas trivia. Oh yeah. In light of the holiday season. Same as usual, we're going to do five questions a piece. All in the midst of the Christmas spirit, we're just trying to throw out some things maybe you all didn't know about Christmas, but I feel like a lot of people by now, you know a lot about Christmas. It's such a big part of all of our lives, like whether whether you like it or not. It's a, you, it's a big part of every year. Yeah, everybody knows somebody that's really into Christmas. Like me personally, I was never that into Christmas. Then I met her. Now I love Christmas. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. Marissa is going to go first. Question one for Marissa. Which country started the tradition of putting up a Christmas tree? Ah, uh, okay, so I know that you've said before that Christmas trees are like a Viking thing. So I'm going to say Norway. You're going to say Norway? Is that it? it was Germany. Really? But what she's referring to when I said that the tree is Viking is actually a Christmas tree is a Yule tree. That means it's just a tree that you're going to decorate inside your house. See, Christmas, like, like Halloween and all other holidays, has over the years blended into what we know it is yeah, now. Like, sense. say, red and white Santa. You know who brought that along? Coca-Cola. True yeah. story. Which I'm not complaining about. I'm no. not just saying that, you know, there's a whole lot of things stemming from cr to make Christmas what it is to now. There's no just like one department like, this is a Christian holiday. It is, but there's a whole lot more into it too. It's everybody's holiday. Okay. So you are Owen 1. Wah wah, I'm starting mm. off bad. Mm. Oh well. Oh well. Question two for Marissa. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer started off as a marketing gimmick for what store? Oh, uh, I don't, okay, I, I have a couple things in mind. I'm thinking it could either be Macy's or Sears. I'm just gonna say Macy's because like Thanksgiving and like, I don't really know. I really don't have no basis behind it. I'm just gonna say Macy's. I mean, that's a good answer, but eh, that was wrong. It was Montgomery Ward. I like your Macy's answer because I could see that happening. I would never have gotten that. All right, so you are Owen too. <laughs> <laughs> How many questions are we doing? Five? Five. Oh, God. Like Please don't be a goose egg. <laughs> Question three for Marissa. Who tries to stop Christmas from coming by stealing all things of Christmas from the Who's? Well, I know this answer, and that would be the Grinch. Ding, ding, ding. You are correct. Yes, we all know the Grinch doll yes. tried to steal Christmas. So that makes you one in two. Doing pretty good. That's all right. Coming back here. Coming back, coming back. Question four for Marissa. What is the best-selling Christmas song ever? Ever? Yeah. Oh, okay, well, a couple things run through my mind. You've got Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas, but it's only been around for like the last 20 or so years. Meanwhile, you have songs that have been created like way a long time ago. Oh my god, I have to just pick one. I'm just gonna go with Deck the Halls. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your final answer? No, I'm gonna change it to Mariah Carey. You're gonna go to yeah, Mariah Carey? I don't know. I don't All know. I want for Christmas? Yeah, I don't know. And it is White Christmas by Bean oh, Crosby. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I could see that too, but there's just so many Christmas songs. Like, how can you? Oh, I know, and you don't know I if you're like you're talking about one of the old, them. older ones or like one of the newer ones that were redone by somebody. Like, that's a pretty lofty question. So you are now one in three. Mm. Marissa's last question for today. In Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol, what was Mr. Scrooge's first name? Ebenezer. Ding ding ding! Yay! You are correct. Yes, yes, oh, Ebenezer Scrooge. I feel like I could have easily forgot that. But no, not really, because I think that's like an, a thing you think of. You what, know, Ebenezer, Ebenezer Scrooge? Scrooge? It would definitely bring a shock to me if I ever met somebody that was just like, oh, I thought his name was Scrooge the whole time. Because I'd be like, you often hear Ebenezer Scrooge in like every movie yeah. you've ever seen it in. They always say at one point, oh, Ebenezer or Ebenezer Scrooge. Yeah, but I know sometimes like the word can escape you. You know, where you're like, oh, I couldn't think of it. Or, oh, absolutely. I don't know. Okay. But Forgivable. We, well, maybe I'll do worse and get a complete goose egg. I doubt it. Question one for Jamie. Miracle on 34th Street centers on what real life department store? Well, that's Macy's. 
Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Correct. Come on now. That one's easy. So you're one and oh. Yeah. <laughs> Question two for Jamie. What figure from English folklore came to be associated with Santa Claus? Krampus. Eh. What? Father Christmas. Oh, Father Christmas? <laughs> what? Oh, it's fine. Fine. We're <laughs> arguing over semantics. Okay. Well, let's start naming out all the different versions of them. Um, like, Paris Noel. Purple Gijon. Purple Gijon. <laughs> Name? Chris Kringle. Name? Santa Claus. Name? Père Noël. Babo Natale. Père's Nicole. Papa Gijo. Santa Claus for anybody out there. <laughs> <laughs> we both love that movie. <laughs> okay. So that makes me one and one. Question three for Jamie. What alcohol is used to spike eggnog? It's rum. Ding, ding, ding! <laughs> Correct! I've, I've had eggnog before, so, yep. Doesn't, uh, who? Ah, I can't even think of the name of the alcohol, but it's some, like, bourbon. Evan, Will, Evan... Oh, Evan Williams? They make a egg, eggnog. Yeah, we got, oh, absolutely. Evan Williams here in Louisville makes their own, like, special eggnog. I'm sure it's shipped everywhere, but, yeah. They yeah, do. so that's used with bourbon, no? Absolutely. Or, okay. Yeah, yeah, I would imagine. I don't think that they bring in rum into Evan Williams. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we have bourbon eggnog here in Kentucky as well. You can use pretty much any... Any alcohol. Yeah, after yeah. a couple of drinks, you don't even notice. You don't. Oh. All right. So that makes me two and one. Yep, so question four for Jamie. What well-known Christmas carol became the first song ever broadcasted from space in 1965? Hmm. This is interesting. Oh, I have no clue. Uh, I'm just gonna go shot in the dark with one of the one of the top favorites. So I'm gonna go Jingle Bells. Ding ding ding! Woo! Yes! <laughs> that was yeah, a good was shot Bell. in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> so that makes me three and one. Yeah, you're already beating me. On to Jamie's last question: Which president had his own special recipe for eggnog? I'm gonna go with old Jimmy Carter. And eh, wrong. It was George Washington, the very first president of the United States, has his very own special recipe. Okay. Well, all right. I went with Jimmy Carter because he's Catholic, so I figured maybe, you know, he would have his own spiced up eggnog. True. So I end the day with three and two. Yeah, and right. I ended in two and three. <laughs> so. I win. Once again, I am Santa, after Santa, all. Santa, and I'm Santa's hoe, so, or I'm Santa's favorite hoe. <laughs> yes, yes. I got three of them. She's the favorite. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and ring that bell for future notifications of us doing coffee and trivia, our power hours, or any of the other episodes that you all watch. Leave us a comment and let us know what questions you all got right. Absolutely. And please follow us on Instagram and Twitter. At Juris Explains. Yep. This is going to be the last video of 2020. So we hope you all have a great new year and have a safe new year as well. And yeah, we will see you all in 2021. Absolutely. You all be safe out there. Enjoy yourselves. And uh, let's hope next year is going to be a much better year for any and all people. Well, thank you all for watching our video and we will see you all in 2021. Bye.